What's up you guys? Today we're going to go over Swing in FL Studio and we'll look at and see examples of what it's actually doing and then we can listen and hear what kind of effect that has on our music. So let's jump in and get started. Please like and subscribe. For our global swing, what the swing is actually going to do is it's going to take every second beat. I put hi-hat on every other and it's going to shift these closer to the next beat. So if I max out our global swing here, just as our swing knob, and I go ahead and render this, we'll notice that all of these come in offbeat from where they're supposed to be, right? If I put them all on the beginning instead of our offbeats, and we go ahead and print this same thing, we'll notice that they all actually do stay true and on beat. That's because this global swing only affects every second step. And we'll see here if we turn this down and I print this again, we'll see we get that same offbeat effect, but a little bit less drastic than the first time, correlating with how much swing we gave it. Now, if we come to this drum track here and I start turning up our swing, well, we can actually hear this effect happen. So if I click play, and I turn up our swing, we should be able to hear that difference. A. B. Now, I might like the swing for one instrument, but not like the swing for the other. Our swing here is gonna be called our global swing, or our main swing, because it affects every instrument, but each instrument can opt out with this knob here. This is going to be how much mix or how much of this global swing amount we're actually going to give to this instrument. So if I turn this down, I can add it back for our rim shot until it's somewhere where I like it. Let's say I want to turn it down on our hi-hat as well. We can listen and turn it down on the hi-hat. And if I print this, we'll go ahead and see a visual of exactly what just happened. Now, if we look here, we'll see that our second steps will be just a little bit off time, right? And this is a great way to add a little bit of the human effect of things being a little bit late or off time or an intentional swing to the instruments and patterns you create. And as you work your project, you can always take the swing down for an instrument if you don't like it, or as soon as you're done making your entire beat and you're done doing whatever, you can always start turning that global swing up, see how you feel about it. So we showed a visual example of exactly what the swing does. We showed how to manage our mix amount for our swing on each instrument. It's an easy and powerful option within FL Studio, and I hope that this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like the video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio, and adios.